Hi, I'm Valerie Mosley, the Billion Dollar Mom. Why? Because I've managed billions and I'm the mother of three. And I'm here today on Managing Money, Managing Life, talking to you about who supports The Rock. Happy Mother's Day for all the mothers that are out there. And I want to say Happy Mother's Day to the aunts and to the care providers because you are effectively mothers too. You give too. And I want to say thank you for your support. You give a lot. And I want to know who supports The Rock. Everyone relies on the mom. I know, I'm a mom. It's not only the children, it's not only their friends, it's not only the spouse or the significant other, it's their family as well. It's your family. And sometimes it's hard to find the person that is supporting The Rock. And so today I want to bring to you some insights between from managing money into managing life. And it is the gift of no and the awareness of the cycle. Let's start with the first, the gift of no. No is a complete sentence. I'm really fond of saying that. And why? Because we feel like we have to apologize for saying no. After all, we were raised by mothers who gave and gave and gave, and rarely did they say no, unless we asked for something that they did, couldn't afford or thought didn't make sense. But rarely did they say no in terms of the extent to which they might give of themselves. And I'm here to say that giving should come at certain times, and that there are other times when giving should just not be. And I'm reminded, therefore, of the second point, which is the cycle of giving. So when managing money, I've looked at small companies, startups, I've done some venture, and I've invested in really big companies. And I see that there is this cycle that has some parallel and some insight into our own life. And that is, if a startup were to go to investors and say that the money that they raised they were going to give away in the form of dividends, we think they'd lost their mind. It just wouldn't have happened. Why? Because startups are starved for cash. And what they're doing is trying to make sure that they are using the money to put them in a position to grow so they can go out and get more money. And this continues. It's the seed. It's the Series A. And it continues until they raise enough money and they start to grow. In contrast, Really large companies typically have a lot of cash and there there's an expectation that those cash companies, cash flow positive companies, will give some money back to the investors in the form of dividends. After all, the investors took the risk. They should also get dividends and not only the benefit of the stock price going up. And I think that we are perfectly positioned to learn from that. Because I think of early stage mothers and parents that just had children like early stage companies. They don't have the energy to give to anything else. They're so busy focusing on the kids and making sure that they're getting what sleep they can because the kids are up all night and they're crying and they're exhausted so they're sleep deprived just like early stage companies are cash deprived. And in contrast, Large companies remind me of grandparents that have been through it and they have much more time and they have much more cash and they can give more time and more attention and in some cases even more cash. So when we think about giving care providers and mothers and aunts, sometimes we have to say no. And why do we say no? Because we know as leaders of our own life that there are times when it doesn't make sense and we don't really have quite that much energy to give to other people. We need to store it for ourselves so that we can grow. We need to delay that gratification for our own life so that we can get stronger. And then there becomes a point when we can give more, not only to our loved ones, we can give more to our society, we can give more to the world. But we have to be thoughtful about where we are on the cycle. And I just say that because, again, we are the rock that gives and keeps giving and giving. And who supports that? I think the extent to which we know and understand ourselves and what it is that we need, we are the ones that are best suited to support us. So 
learn the power of no <laughs> and know that there are times when it's most appropriate to say yes and when it's not. And there's no need to apologize because again, no is and can be a complete sentence. I'm Valerie Mosley, the Billion Dollar Mom, sharing stories about where managing money meets managing life. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think about some of the other videos on this channel. Email me at Valerie at heartbeings.com. That's Valerie at heartbeings.com. And follow me on Twitter. Go for greatness. Like us on Facebook. And we look forward to hearing from you.